Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. Nice catch there, hon. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic-level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Oh. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Thanks, hon. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. 
Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. Luck with the car. Hey, 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 you okay? Whoa! Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Talk to me, you alright? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no, there is something out there. Like, uh, there's noises oh, honey, it's everywhere. Okay. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Especially Matt's... if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just. I am trying to get us out of here. Alright, enough! Just... Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. I may get bumped, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Um, a, an animal. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, don't know what kind. It was so fast and... Yeah. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal.
Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son? Remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a, a statement? Have a good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. 
Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel or just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. Right? <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20's... debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kinda into ma'ams. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. If we drive all the way the fuck out Max, here... Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett, or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car, and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is anybody home? I'm gonna get some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. Hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... You sure? Yeah, I saw it online. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. I'm just, you know, I'm scoping it out.
Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am.
Hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Jake, bags, focus. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool, thanks guys. <sighs> oh, skill. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, y you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this... Superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's Maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, 
total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Oh, this looks important. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Along. Oh, dick. <clears throat> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no, no doubt. No. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. You know 50. what, whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One... Two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Aw. This was little Izzy's. Get you back to Izzy. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. 
confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, whoa! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. What do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby. Was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. <sighs> Dishes are done, boys. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? 
Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. You, you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, 
leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come all on. Right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Ah, God. <sighs> Holy. Jacob, wait. Jesus wait, Christ. wait, wait. I got this. <sighs> God damn it, I said wait! Oh shit!
This thing is toast. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Beep dead. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So... What was that about? He, uh... said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... you kidding me? Am... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids, just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby... You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this.
So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> ah, there we go! And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, uh, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Cause you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? <sighs> Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh, because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I. I. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. 
wonder where this goes. Locked. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother loud. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom! I wanna look around. Go for it. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's, let's go. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool! And, uh, code. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> oh. So you're, uh... You're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. <clears throat> All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. Um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> I'm 
Ladies first. Mm. Yeah. Which way? All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. What's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I. You're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Sprindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... I beefed it. I don't play sports. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Ryan? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just... They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. Man. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret lair. What was that? It's probably nothing. Nice. Full up. All right, cool. Let's go.
Thank you. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh... Not yet. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. Yeah. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Wow. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? No. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my God, he's so cute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, this slime! Oh. Okay, did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were going to draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, oh, got it all up here. Guess we should head back. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey Caitlin, guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Whoa now, back up, what? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar, but Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Oh. Whoa. Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, 
Cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma? Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... it was okay. Hey, attaboy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread, remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, you're good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. 
peanut butter butter Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam. We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, Abby. Oh my God. God. Just pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding ding ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. Woo! All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. So, you and Jacob go way back, right? Like, since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But, it never went any further, cuz... He's a terrible kisser! And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay. My turn. <sighs> Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... 
Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Hell am I? They took everything from me. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Abby. Abby? Abby? You out here? Nick? Is that you? It's me. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh... You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just... playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed... helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. Then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or dare is a stupid game, right? I don't know. Maybe it lets us act how we really feel. Uh, or it lets us act as props to help Jacob and Emma hash out whatever bullshit they've got going on. So, then do you have 
feelings for her? No, I mean, I just meant the whole thing's dumb. That's all. You remember the second or third day of camp when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That, uh, the little accident on the course? <laughs> he was so embarrassed. He thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, There's like a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi and you barely acknowledged me. Shit, I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. Everyone has their moments. But a moment like that day at the ropes course... It's how I knew. You knew what? You know I wanted to kiss you. Really? I didn't realize that. Oh. At the time. I'm not the best at expressing my inner emotions or whatever, but I'm glad you told me. So? So I'm saying that I like you too, or whatever. <laughs> You know that kid I helped ended up going home? Oh. No, I didn't know that. Oh, the campus wouldn't stop making fun of him for pouring orange juice into a cereal. Uh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> you win some, you lose some.
Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. Do, I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, come on. Or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well... We agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you know, we could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help! Help! I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing. For Hurricane Jake is here. Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh! Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. <laughs> Hurricane Jake. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Split it! Oh, stop being a uh, crump! <gasps> <laughs> Dick move. Hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your like, um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Huh? Emma! Jacob! 
Jacob, over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on neither. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. <laughs> hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Go after Nick! Go! Ryan! Go! Come on, let's get back to the fire. We're waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing?
Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Damn it. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I don't know, attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, Is Abby? Yeah, hey, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth run on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. No, uh, Oh fuck! Look at that! Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff—that's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Ryan, we should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes, 
But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! What? Dude, fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. 
if you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. 
Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Uh, cops. Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. 
Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I... I... I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
Okay, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just... I didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. What's going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my God! What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh... And do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. 
Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Oh. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's it wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay, okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure.
Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, fuck! What the fuck? I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. What now? Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Okay. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um. Come on. It's almost. Come on, hurry, let's go. Everything is right. I did everything right. Oh, crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Remembering you. Uh, the wire, the wire, get the wire, get the wire. What? The wire, get it, plug it in the thingy. On it. Uh. 
What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, we blew the speaker. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then it would have sensitive hearing, so... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Emma! Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You're okay. I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Shit. Okay, you know what? 
You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> Shh. Run! <laughs> Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh, man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone, oh, or...? Fuck! Chris! How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what are you...? I don't want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off! Nick? It's okay. You're okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Shh. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? All of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. 
<laughs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such Such... What? Such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, y yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick him. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Is <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters. I would go to the lodge. No, don't you? We cut you as no. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it.
doesn't feel safe. Abby? Ryan? I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I don't know. I don't trust her. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, she's dangerous. Whatever, man. You're not in charge. Dude. <laughs> Fuck, Hello. Dylan! So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ma'am, this is gonna get a little messy.
What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why were we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm hmm Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! What? Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and... stuff... everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? So our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit.
All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's Get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Laura. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Sis. Need some sort of lever. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? in here hey come back fuck some binky bonky are you okay it's just a foot it'll heal i meant the interrogation Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. Alright, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... he's not acting like a typical cop, either. 
Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation. We gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. But you're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. But... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like, from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... there's nobody there, and we get attacked by... something... and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a... a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... You know... Full moon. Yeah. What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance... It was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? 
I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool, okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not... Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Okay, fine. So we don't knock his brains out. I guess that means send friend request. Ah. Uh. No? I wasn't saying that we shouldn't break his head open. Just that we might be doing a whole lot more than knocking him out. Let's just Try the non-violent way first. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? 
Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... The... Okay. Look. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good? Like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch?
So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. to rest soon. Ha. Huh. Mama's boy. Fifty-six. That means he was born in... 1965. July 7th. I need to lie down. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry never to be seen again like us except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part we're, we're more like um, ghost investigators specter sleuths sure so what happened next well according to reports from the local paper the North Kill Gazette 
Some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family... 
you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And... Frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty, lying, kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says.
Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. Let me in there. I know they're in there. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. They're still here. That's fucked up. What did that one of them, Chris? What's that supposed to do? <laughs> What was that? Be careful. Could have been a whole lot of mess if I had shot you. You shot me. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, put the stars on those little silver. Shut up. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura? Uh. Laura, are you okay? Uh. God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Uh. Oh. Fuck. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> that wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. 
He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. We're going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal, but... Hello? Thank <laughs> you. 
So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bite. Come on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money, like lots of it. How you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus <geez>, Christ! <laughs> That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. You, Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? 
When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Hey, don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer one of this for you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. 
I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh! Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. Shit. Think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Oh, shit! Oh. Okay. Good upper body. cave out <laughs> look who's finding their funny bone so what's your deal then what do you mean the whole mysterious brooding loner thing it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe so I don't fit into the right box is that what you're saying and what box would that be nothing forget it do you always do that do what uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. Looks promising. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum-running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. 
Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the cores are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. You think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Sorry, Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. There's a scrapyard up the road. If we're looking for a vehicle, maybe there's one there? That sounds like a long shot. Got something better to do? Not die? Yeah, I'd like that too, by getting the hell out of here. Okay, well, just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Come on. 
Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Who's Bobby? Sure nobody else? I don't know. No. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone heard us. Heard you? Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Hey, bad idea. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. God. Seriously, man. They took it! You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Better off down here. What? I'm sorry, man. No, 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 dude, come on. We'll come back for you. Shut the fuck you out, Ryan. Please, Ryan, please, dude. Okay? You don't know what to do to me. Come on. Come on, let me out. You can't let me down here. Not my God, God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Let, 
So you, you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. God, oh my God, we are way past that now. <gasps> Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self if I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, oh you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't mom me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Yes. Ma, send Bobby down. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up! So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest... whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. You know? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know, I guess I just... Don't like to see other people sad? Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> <sighs> 
Fuck this night, huh? Yeah. Come on. I wanna hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch. Blow your fucking head off. Ah, bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up! That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. <gasps> Put me down, asshole! What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. What the fuck is she doing? Hey, little bitch. You're singing off key. Took my knife. <laughs> she was annoying the shit out of me. Hell yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy. Knife back. You made it dirty. Slippy little bastard, but I got him. What? 
Warte. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought you were shot. I got better. She's infected. The bitch is bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. have enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer. Travis, get your ass up here. We need silver for this one. Travis? Where the hell is he? Oh, shit. What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down! See in the dark. She's one of them. Where are you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. feel your breath on my cheek, but I wasn't sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you yet. I usually gotta wait until I'm told. No. No. You wait right here. I'm gonna ask my dad. 
Dad? Dad, are you there? Bobby? Travis, where's Dad? Where are you? I, I, I got a live one here, T. I got the boy. You been bit, Bobby? Nah, I, I don't think so. He's bleeding, though. I think he's dying. Okay, what's your position? Um, standing. No, where are you, Bobby? Oh, I'm in the old wing in that little room, you remember? Oh, trust me, he's not going anywhere. He's gone! Yo, oh, come on, man. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me. You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can... You can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane light. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now.
So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Robin? Fuck. We gotta go. What? Uh, you got it. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? To make too much noise. Oh, right. <gasps> Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Problem. Ugh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. Ah! Sorry. That was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. What's this? Harem Scarum. See this, Caitlin? Look. 
So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Do you mind if I take a little protection? Uh -huh. No way, Jose. Please? No, I'm gonna be the one who's exposed out here. But you're tough, I'm squishy. Anything comes at us, I'll take him out, okay? I need all of your attention on the task at hand. You can do this. <sighs> Fine, okay. Right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Back grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. All right, here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Leaving you. Fuck off. Dylan? I'm Fuck off. Brad out! No, no, no but Go, but... go! <laughs> Fucking <laughs>
We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Oh, you think so? Does it? Does it sorta? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um... Oh, have you ever, like, made a firm decision about anything? Ever? Emma, are you okay? I, uh, What's gotten into you? I... I don't know. Emma... Abby... Emma... <sighs> Oh no. Not again. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch.
Back to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. Huh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee, the girl you killed, her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, uh, at, go. The at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh... who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go.
Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Gotta find Laura. Hopefully they realize the campus closed and try them out to up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Showtime, motherfuckers. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. Summer's over, and you're nothing. nothing. She doesn't want you. Nobody does. Nobody wants you. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps>
So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. And now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> On the roof. Where's the gun? Forget that. Get out! Brian, wake up! Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. 
That's impossible, who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Salas' mother. I think. Who was she? <laughs> she ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Laura! Do it. He's just a boy! He's responsible for so much death. Says you! Do it! Give me the gun. killed you when I had the chance.
psycho teens charged over summer camp murder. What do you make of that, Anton? Psycho teens would be a great band name. Uh, sure, I guess, but I meant like, what do you make of the story? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to Blow your mind! Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some... developments. And I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or Bonafide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you What are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes, of course. That's, th that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right. So these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. 
Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? <laughs> We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of... This, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My god, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, supernatch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, 
This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Huge. Oh. Yeah, polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. So? So? What do you think? Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting more, I guess. Why do people always say that to me? It'll be carved on your gravestone when you die. So dark. I know. Well, this is what we got. We got to try and throw all the evidence together. Time to ink up our brain pens and ink draw up some our conc- brain pens? Disgusting. You've never heard that phrase? It's a classic phrase. A classic phrase. Who said it first? Leave me alone. I'm tired. Okay. It's a little weird, that letter. I'll give you that. Oh, my God. I just said it was weird. Don't make it a big deal. Oh, my God. I've done it. See, this is why I never want to be on your side. Ah, I win. Okay, I just mean I see it. The lack of details in the news report and this letter sucks. It it sucks to be her. Wow, that is so deep. Thanks. Yes, I know. I'm very empathetic. Okay, so we've reviewed the case, come to a conclusion... I guess that's it. Kind of underwhelming. Yeah, without a crystal ball or the gift of sight, I remain without whelm. Whelm free. Yeah, I've got no whelms to give. I guess there's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. That's the spirit. Spirits don't exist. You don't exist. Okay.